Hi guys, so today I'm doing my, I guess July empties, July and like some of August empties. I have so much stuff, but I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as possible. This is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Cream, or Body Butter Cream. I love this smell, it's so amazing. I've had another one, this is my second one, and then I'm using a third one right now. This is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Fresh and Foamy Body Wash. I felt like this went, um... Like, I went through this really, really quickly. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. This is the Dial Coconut Water Refreshing Mango Hydrating Body Wash. It was okay. I didn't think it was anything special. This is the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water. This is amazing. Um, it takes off all of your makeup. It doesn't irritate your... Well, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. So, I would consider buying that again. These are the Stridex Single Step Acne Control Maximum Strength Soft Touch Pads. Basically, it's like toner on pads already. Um, they're okay. I, I'm, they're alright. I'm not like die hard about them. This is the Renee Furcher. For terror? I don't know. Um, Forticia Shampoo Stimulant, or Simulating Shampoo. Um, and it's for like thin, fine hair and I didn't notice any difference and I got it from my mom. I'm pretty sure it's expensive so that's not something I'll be buying myself. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I did really like this. Um, I'll probably end up repurchasing. I've had I think the original one before. This is my Tried and True Clean and Clear Daily Pore Cleanser. I've been through a million of these. I love them. I hate that it has the microbeads because I know it's bad for um, sea life, sea creatures, um, and for the earth in general. Um, so I haven't repurchased this, and I probably won't just because it makes me feel really shitty about myself. Um, this is the Sugar Crush Body Scrub. Um, this is my second one. I love the smell, and I like to have a scrub on hand, so if I see that one of these days in Target, then I'll pick it up. This is a um, Vapor Rub. It's a Vicks, but it's like the off-brand. Um, but it expired. I always have several Vicks bottles because I love... If I just... If I feel off at all, I like slather the Vicks on it. And I, it's a weird habit I have. This is the um, Brito Azul Perfume. And... I used to really like the original Brito perfume. That he's an artist. Um, I really like the original. It's like a pinkish, reddish pink bottle, I believe. But I haven't had it in forever. And then I had this blue one. I really just bought the blue one because it's Brito. Um, but that was like five years ago. Uh, I wouldn't repurchase it. These are the Biore uh, deep cleansing pore strips. I always have pore strips on hand. I swear by them. I use them at least once a week. This is the Cortisone 10 Quick Shot 360 Continuous Spray. I love this stuff. Um, about six months ago and then several times before that, I was having these allergic reactions and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. That spray is awesome because it's really easy to target where the itch is um, without having to touch it. Because usually with all those creams, like you have to touch it and then you have to wash your hands. The spray is nice when you're like out and about so that you don't have to sit there and plan out when you're going to slather it on your legs. This is the Alterna Bamboo Anti-Humidity Hairspray. It was just a deluxe sample. I wouldn't repurchase. It was a super average um, hairspray to me. This is the Agave Oil Treatment. I thought it was good but not great. I don't think it's any better than any other hair oil that I've ever tried. This is L'Oreal Ferris Nude. I kind of got this because everyone used to talk about it. My sister was using it and then she smushed it and I don't even want to bother with it anymore. It's disgusting. I won't repurchase it. I don't think I will at least. This is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist. I love these. I love the bottle. I love the product. I will definitely repurchase. This is the Sally Hansen Water Resistant Airbrush Legs. I actually might not throw this away. It, um, you spray it on your legs and it, well that's what it looks like right away, but then, um, you spread it out and it just looks so, like, bronzy and even and I have a lot of, I bruise super easily and I always have, like, ten bruises on my legs 
and I don't even know if you can tell. Um, people are always asking me like if I'm okay. <laughs> um, and this is nice when you're, you know, have some kind of special occasion and you want your legs to look perfect and it's water resistant. So I might actually keep that. I just, it's not empty. It is very much full, but I don't ever use it. So I was going to get rid of it, but I don't know. This is the Nivea cream and I used all of it. I have really dry hands because I wash my hands a lot and I would just keep it in my purse and spread it on my hands. Really, it's my right hand that gets super dry. Um, for some reason, my left hand doesn't. This is one of the L'Occitane shower oils. I love this stuff. It feels so good on your skin. Um, sooner or later, later, I will buy the full size. This is the Alterna Caviar CC Cream. I thought it was good, but nothing super special. This is a Bath and Body Works Island White Pineapple Antibacterial Hand Gel. I loved this smell, and I always end up getting those. Right now I'm using, um, like, in my makeup, I use, like, the dollar store hand sanitizers usually because they're a dollar for three. It's such a good deal, and they're big. Um, sorry, my light just went on. Um, but on the go, I have my um, Bath and Body Works ones. This is the Sensodyne... Complete protection toothpaste. I um, keep on repurchasing these, and I've had a few different ones. Um, my teeth have been really sensitive in the last few months, and that's helped them immensely. Um, these are the Ulta Premium Oval Cotton Pads. I do really like these. I'm using ones, I think they're from Walmart right now, and I do not like those, so I will repurchase the Ulta ones. This is a sample of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. I liked it, but not enough to actually purchase it. I feel like something sandy in here. Um, this is the Paul Smith Floral Perfume. There's more left. I probably just didn't want it, so I'll leave that right there. Probably give it to my mom. This is the Burberry The Beat Perfume. I used all of it up. I don't know if I've shared this with you, but my challenge to myself was not to purchase any more perfume in 2015, and so far I have been successful. I have obviously won two, I think that's all for this round, but I've gotten rid of two this time, and I have continuously, like, in my empties included perfumes because I've been really good about using them up. This is the Ulta Coconut Cream Dry Oil Body Spray. I love dry oils for my legs especially because I don't like the feeling of like right when I'm about to leave having to have like lotion all over my hands. So the dry oil is really nice. Sometimes I rub it in, sometimes I don't, but it is very convenient. What else is not makeup? These are samples of the Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. Liked it, didn't love it. The Perfect Hair Day amazing. I want the full size. It's so good. Um, it's amazing. I love it. And every time I straighten my hair, which is not often, I use it first and on my damp hair and it keeps it looking amazing for a really long time. So love that stuff. We'll repurchase. That's a receipt for something. This is another perfect hair day sample. Again, adore it. And um, here's another hand sanitizer. This is a Little Cutie Pie, and that was a nice scent. Okay, this is all my, oh no, this is a Bath and Body Works Wallflower. I don't know what the scent is, though. Most of this is makeup. So this is the Cora's Wild Rose Compact Powder, and I actually took out the pants so you can't even tell what it looks like. Um, I don't even think they sell this anymore, but if they did, I wouldn't buy it. I didn't think it was anything special. This is the Dior Show Mascara from Dior. I did not like it. This is the Murad Acne Spot Fast Fix. I don't really think it did that great of a job. You can just get regular old benzoyl peroxide from like Clean and Clear or the off-brand at Walmart. Um, this is the Mally Eyeshadow Evercolor Stick in Antique Taupe. Freaking love these. They're so amazing. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin in 3.2. There's like a tiny bit on the side, but I cannot get it out, so I'm done trying. Another Mally uh, Evercolor Stick in Saddle Shimmer. Again, love this. This is the second Saddle Shimmer one I've had. This is the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. I couldn't even finish this. I freaking hated it so much. After a while, I just refused, so I'm going to put this in my Back to MAC 
pile and never look at it again. This is the Urban Decay Naked Gloss. Sorry, I thought I saw someone in my front yard. Um, it was good. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was it was okay. I'm not like a huge gloss person, but it was good. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liner in uh, Intense Black. Honestly, I'm sticking with my Kat Von D Trooper. I just think it's the best all around. This is my Revlon Rosy Nude. It's all flat. I'm not going to dig in there. I've been trying to finish this for the longest, and I'm so happy that it's done. This is the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. I thought I already put that in empties, but I guess not. Let's see. This is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. The smell of this is so disturbing to me that I can't even use it. I just... The tingling is, doesn't bother me, but it's the smell. Oh, and then, and then I feel like it like, gets in my mouth. I, it disgusts me. I cannot use it. This is the Embryolise Emulsion Hydromat. Love this. I will definitely repurchase. And I would recommend to anyone who has oily skin. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Mudslide. I loved this ma mascara. Loved this lip gloss. I'm, again, not a big lip gloss person, but the fact that I was able to finish up this entire thing is amazing, and I really loved it. So, I will repurchase. Let's see. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte, Inf or Infallible Pro Matte Powder in, I don't, oh, 200 Natural Beige. Look at that, man. I really just did a number on it. I'm so happy. Um, I thought it was good. I really love the L'Oreal True Match also and I have that one right now so sooner or later I would have repurchased like it's one that I thought was good enough to spend my money on. This is one of my Lancome Genifique Youth Activating Concentrates. I have a million of these because I use my 100 point perks on them. Or well, They were 100 point perks. You know what I mean. I, I actually don't think that they do a whole lot so I don't know. I put it on before I put my makeup on. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Another wallflower I missed. Whoopsie daisy. This is a mini of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I thought it was good. I'm really obsessed with my Lancome, Lancome Hypnos drama. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that mascara yet. This is the MAC False Lashes Mini, and I did not think it was very good at all. This is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. Um... It just feels super silicone-y. I love that it's SPF 30. It's such an interesting feeling for something that has a, sub not substantial, but usually makeup products will have like SPF 10 or SPF 15. So for it to be SPF 30, I felt like the texture was very interesting. I wouldn't buy the full size just because, excuse me, I would rather use my moisturizer that has SPF or just use a separate SPF. Um, instead of using this because it, uh, to me it didn't really work as like a primer or anything but it felt like a primer so I don't, I don't know I, I wouldn't really recommend it unless um you're using it like by itself for kind of like a smoothing look I don't know mm. this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More I use this as a primer it um how does it feel it has like a very dry like cream to powder finish I wouldn't buy the full size it I don't know. I don't think it's anything special at all. This is the Juice Beauty CC Cream and Warm Glow. I did not like the texture of just it of this. I couldn't even finish it. It just felt it, it was that texture of like it feels wet even when you're like rubbing it in. I don't know. I didn't like it. This is the Blistex Moisture Melt. I actually love this lip balm. Um, it's SPF 15, but it expired, so I had to stop using it. But I would repurchase that one right there. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in Nude Medium. I really, really liked this, and I felt like it went really fast. So, I don't know. I would repurchase because I love the product, but I hate that it went so fast. Um, and then I have the Tarte Lights Cameras Lashes sample. I didn't like it, and I used to love this mascara, so I don't know if I'm just, like, changing my taste in mascaras, or if I got a dud. I don't this is a sample of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Love this stuff. Would repurchase forever and ever and ever. And then I have some brushes that I will be getting rid of. But before that, I have 
my original Fitbit, it broke. It made me so mad. I don't know why I wanted to include it in this, but I was so pissed. I was like, ah, I bought a three pack. So I have my blue and then there's like a red and a really, 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 really dark navy. Okay. Sonia Kashuk brush. It's the, I don't know what it is. I freaking hate it. It's way too dense. Um, oh, I hate this brush. This is the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. I, mm -mm, I like a regular angled liner brush. I hate that. This is the Eco Tools Skin Perfecting Brush. It's not... I don't even... They It streaks so much. It's almost like it's not dense enough. But it's just so streaky when you're putting anything on you end up having just these lines down your face even when you're buffing it then you just have like lines in the circle so did not like that this is supposed to be so that like you hold it right there for fallout who has time to do that uh, not me um this is the ego tools pointed concealer brush it is just the texture of the brush is just mm, no i don't know it they it's too tight and pointed again streaky I guess you could use it as like an inner corner eyeshadow highlight. Maybe I will hold on to it for that, but for pointed concealer, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This is the Real Techniques Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush. This is way too thick to do eyeliner with. Like, for me, I need a really thin line, and the, like, it's so. Can you tell? This is super thick to be putting liner on with, so I did not like it. This is the Beauty Strokes, I think it's from Walmart, Line and Define. First of all, I do not like double or dual-ended brushes. I just don't. Um, this is a flat uh, liner brush. Again, ugh. I love my mirror, but when I'm in front of it, like that, that it just like lights up. So, uh, yeah, I like an angled liner brush, not a flat one. And then this one, I don't know, it's just such an awkward little brush. It works for doing like a smoky under eye look, but it always ends up being like squashed. Like one side ends up being all squashed, so not, not a fan. This is the Eco Tools. I don't know. It's something. I think it came with this, which really makes me sad that I have these two brushes that I don't like. And it's so streaky. It is crazy, crazy streaky. So I wish it wasn't. I, like, I do have some Eco Tools. I feel like I'm like dogging on Eco Tools. I have some Eco Tools brushes that I really love, but this and that, they, they are not truly loved. So that is. Uh, no, I have one more. This was the NAC, NAC, MAC Pro Long Wear Waterproof, like the Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I only tried it once and I didn't love it. It was like pretty average to me. Uh, maybe I'll try it again. Um, I've heard that like foundation samples you're just supposed to use once, but whatever. We'll see. So those are my empties for July and the beginning of August. Um, if you watched my products that I want to use up video, then you'll see that there are a few of those products that I actually did use up. Um, I'm going to do those um, updates every three months. So I guess around like September, October, yeah, the end of September, I will do an update on that. But I have really been pleased with my progress. I have not been shopping for makeup and it feels really darn good. So um, thank you for watching the video. I will be back with another video soon. Make sure that you um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you later.